guys, I literally just hobbled in here and was getting set up and just got set up against this tree. A doe come through and she cut that corner from me and then there he stood right behind her like maybe 30 seconds behind her. He stood there and worked a scrape. He was facing this way so I couldn't put the camera on him. I just had the camera sitting there. I thought he'd come on down the trail. But that doe turned and he went the same way she did. They was right there, guys. I moved my bow, the doe blew. He didn't know what happened. She trotted off. He stood there about another two minutes and then he just walked off behind her. So he don't know what happened and they didn't get my wind. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and I'm gonna go get that blind. Stay tuned. So, I don't know how they're gonna react to a blind just being put up. They're probably gonna see it run like hell. Cause I mean, I, I didn't have time to brush it in or none of that. I just love this stuff so much. And I love watching deer do what deer do. There's a deer right here. She didn't spoke, she just looked at it and kept going down that corner. There's a bug. It ain't the giant, I, don't, I think I'm gonna pass it. He makes it the next year, he'll be a dandy. He had a little brows. But he had a big boxy frame on him, long beams. Oh, hey, another bug, another bug. Here we go, here we go.
boils, they're not paying a whole lot of attention. I mean, they glance over at the blind, but then they keep moving. We just had a scurry of four different bucks at 10, 12, 15 yards. That one slipped through the back. He had a funked up rack. It's kind of funky. I grunted at him, he stopped. But he was in some thick stuff. I couldn't get the camera focused on it. They're kind of in my blind spot. They just pop up at this window, coming from my east. So I'm gonna get quiet and just film. Maybe the giant comes through. There's a wide buck and a big brown nine pointer. Either one of them, it's on. And there may be a surprise buck. Who knows? It's my first time ever hunting this place. And my foot is hurting. Stay tuned. Big doe looping around up here in front of us. It's hard to get on them in these woods without picking the camera up and actually aiming it. But trying to line them up with this tripod, it, it takes a second. Sometimes they get to the gap before I can get on them. So I'm missing a few, I'm missing a few on camera, but is a big dog. If we don't get no bucks in here, uh, if we, I'm, I might take a big dog. There's a doe standing on the other side of the blind. She's blowing at me, but she don't know why. She caught me peeping out the window. We're gonna slide her if we get a chance. one way to start the morning. She come in that one opening. I was gonna wait a little while on the door, but she started blowing like that hell with it. We got plenty of time. I held low because I need to heart shoot them in this city. I tucked it right tight on that crease. She was sitting there and she stopped and I was gonna she walked through my first shot, so I, let, I was going to let her go, 
And then she stopped again and I got right back in that crease and I let it eat. And she just, I don't think she moved until she was hit. And she only run a few feet and then stopped. And I ain't seen her since, so I don't know if she just went right there and fell. Uh, it was tight, but it looked like to me I put it right in the pocket. I don't see no legs moving, but it's cold. My binoculars are freezing up. It's 26 degrees this morning, so we're just going to be quiet. I ain't going to push it or nothing. And we're going to keep on hunting. We'll go look for her in a little while. Be awesome we can get a buck in here, man. Get plenty of meat for the freezer. I don't know if I caught it on camera. I hope I did. It looks like our doe didn't make it very far. We found our doe from this morning. There was a buck on camera right here, right there on that cell cam. I just wonder if he messed with her. big nanny down thank you girl thank you oh oh my foot yeah you know i was looking on the camera i don't think we got footage of her because she was right on that edge that's your exit side quarter and two just a touch what mega meat done a number on her She's a big, healthy doe, though. And it don't... She ain't in estrus yet. But I just wonder if them bucks didn't see her because they was right over here on this camera just an hour, hour and a half ago. Well, I hate she wasn't on frame. But we sure need to meet, so... I'm on a back, I can back my truck right here. I mean, she is on the trail. I can back my truck right here. I got to come along. I can just, straight, I got four wheeler ramps. I can just lay her right there and ratchet her up in there. I only had to pull on my ankle at all. So, heck yeah, first urban deer ever. Uh, right here in the suburbs. <laughs> pretty neat, pretty neat. I wasn't planning on taking her. I was wanting to get a buck first, then take a doe out here. But you know how it is when you need, you got tags and she's blowing at you, and you got all day to fool with it. So thankful, thankful, thankful to harvest a doe. And uh, like I say, I'm gonna get on out of here, and we'll, we'll pick up right back here in the morning, trying to get a big giant down. Mm -hmm.